I've got 9, 11. That was a total accident. I'm only kidding. Hello. Uh, I'm here with Mike Carrera of MXPX and Self. So I'm doing a lot of solo stuff, so yeah, I, I'm here with myself. Yes. How are you? I'm <laughs> good. 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 Are you here just doing solo stuff, correct? Yeah, I'm doing solo stuff. Um, really, I'm kind of on vacation. Like Warp, Warp Tour is like you okay, know all the, all of my friends and and ah. people I've known for a long time. So I'm out here for a few days, like just on the West Coast, California, and doing solo stuff. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Well, um, this is a talking tattoos with punk world views. It's new. Yay! Right, <laughs> Very exciting. We so we're gonna start off with what was your first tattoo? My first tattoo. Um, I had a few sort of jail style tattoos that but most of which I've covered oh. covered uh, but my first like tattoo I still have is this Poconaccio Punk this one right there dude that rule and now it's like got stuff behind it but um that's you know my logo for my band MXPX and when our first album was coming out before it was on shelves I took the artwork before it was even printed it was like the mock artwork and I was like that's the tattoo I'm gonna get that and I took it down and got it wow. so when you started MXPX you had no tattoos I don't think I had tattoos when I started MXPX, no, no. I was, I was 16 or 15 oh. or 16, so my first one was seven, at 17 years old. Okay. Uh, what was your most recent tattoo? Most recent? Um, I got some touch-ups, but that doesn't really count, does it? Um, sort of. I don't remember, actually. It's what. all a blur. I probably got something on my <laughs> leg or something. Okay. I don't know. My leg is my go-to of, like, I'll just put it on my leg. The other one. No, it's actually up here. It's actually on his butt. Yeah, it's on it's on my thigh. I got this uh, this big green ape head. Really? Yeah. What does it's that mean? Pretty cool. Um, for my studio, my studio is called Monkey Trent Studios. So I just wanted to get a cool like ape monkey thing, and my buddy uh, Sam from Bremerton, Washington, did it. So I'm stoked. Has someone done most of your tattoos, or is it every? person ever. I started out getting tattooed by this guy Sid. Um, I've, you know, I, I started when I was touring a lot, got, getting tattoos in yeah. different cities, collecting. Yeah. Kind of stopped doing that after I got some bad ones. <laughs> I was like, that's a bad idea. I'm just gonna like, just exactly, you know. Uh, but you know, on Warp Tour, there's there's always tattooers. Um, some of the band guys do tattoos. Uh, Oliver Peck has done a ton of mine. He did my whole back. He's not here this year. He's been here, you know, of course, a lot. other years. Celebrity tattoo artist Oliver Peck. He's great. That's Kat Von D's ex-husband. Everybody, I almost said ex-wife. Sorry, Ollie. He does have long hair. <laughs> You're pretty covered. What is the what's the least tattooed area of your least body? Tattooed area is well, obviously my ass is not tattooed. It's not obviously, I know butt tattooed people. This area is my least tattooed. Let's but, see it. Uh, it. It'll. I don't know if I'll ever completely get. <laughs> Let's see it. I don't know if I'll ever completely get covered, but I, in my mind, I always thought like I would probably get pretty close yes. by the time I kick the bucket. Yes. We'll see. Well, you're getting there. I think. I mean, not I'm kicking the there. bucket, I'm, but the tattooed part. I'm like, here up. Actually, no, I've got ribs. So I've got like my lower stomach to go, and then my upper thighs. Okay. After so that, I'm screwed. Yes. And then it's got to go, go to like your the, forehead. The nether regions and the face, and I'm probably not going to go with face too much. Do you? I know you said you had some cover-ups, but do you have any other tattoos that we can still see that you regret? Uh, regret. Um. Some of these. You know, everybody's, I've had these tattoos forever. They're just kind of like funny, like constellation stuff. Like there's a flying saucer, dancing match. It's just kind of like, you know, I was a kid when I got that stuff. I don't hate it. It's on my arm. It's fine. It's part of who I am, of course. Tattoos become part of you, but I kind of wish I would have got something cooler. Like I, Prime real estate. Yeah, I started, right I started getting tattooed too early I think I, I, I didn't quite understand what was happening and then of course traditional tattoos like Sailor Jerry style is, is what my, I'm into and I just oh, really? wish I had exactly you got some <laughs> really good stuff thank and you my, one of my favorite tattoos is actually well this guy I like that. I really like this guy um, what was I looking for my ship what is this? oh my little sloop oh oh my god that, that's the smallest ship tattoo I've ever seen get in there Chad 
And Keith Underwood did this in Bremerton, Washington. He was on the Warp Tour. They had a day off, so they came to my hometown and hung out. Uh, Wait, which is? Bremerton, Washington, oh. up near Seattle. Okay. And um, he did, I, I got like 11 tattoos that day. They were all really small. Oh. So I got an 11. That was the 11th one. I've got a couple nines here and there. I'm really, nine is my favorite number. So I've got nine, 11. That was a total accident. Was that before 9-11? It was after 9-11, but it was like, an Oh, shit. I was like, that's kind of weird, but... Never forget. Yeah, never forget. <laughs> What's your favorite tattoo? Probably my back or my sloop or my hand. Um, maybe it's because I see it a lot, so I like it. Wait, what's on your back? Um, I've got kind of like everything on my back. It's okay. it's an eagle with on a crown and like there's... Oh yeah. Whoa, that's very nice. Okay. Yeah, so. I got my career to take a shirt off. Yeah. Well, you know. You did. Well, um, obviously I'm familiar with your music, both being, but can you tell everybody what your solo stuff is like? Because they might not be familiar with it. Well, I, I do a band called Tumble Down. Um, when I'm not doing MXPX, and that's sort of like just a different band, but I also do just Mike Herrera solo guitar stuff, and honestly, I do like a lot of MXPX songs. People shout out songs, I do them. I do covers, I do tumble down songs. It's just kind of a mix of everything I do with the bands, but by myself. Yes. Yeah, and, and I do change it up. I, I change the guitar parts a bit to make them fit more of an acoustic vibe, and it's, it's pretty fun, yet, you know, I get a little more serious at times. It just depends on the crowd. Like if I'm in a, uh, you know, in a, different setting, you know, non warp tour setting maybe, like a bar that's everybody's drunk. Well I'm gonna play drinking songs. If I'm in a more of a nightclub where everybody's wanting to hear something something really serious, I'll play songs like that. So it's kinda of fun because I can just pick and choose songs and tailor my set to the my surroundings. It's only you. It's only me. Fuck everybody else. Yes. <laughs> okay, uh, what did you think about the acoustic basement tent today? Do you feel like it was a good little area? Yeah, I mean, the, my only complaint is probably everybody's complaint is it's a little loud everywhere else. So at times it can kind of be interrupting or, or a little little confusing, like, okay, what's happening here? But aside from that, like, the PA is actually pretty good. Like, it's pretty loud. Uh, Brian Marquis that's running the stage is awesome. Uh, all the artists have been awesome. It's it's cool to see bands on, you know, doing their full band sets and then coming over and doing, like, acoustics, yeah. you know, sets, too. Double duty. I'm sure they're sweaty. Yeah, probably <laughs> pretty sweaty. All right. Well, we're going to wrap it up. If you have any final statements. Uh, MXPX has a new album, Plans Within Plans. Uh, it's skate punk at its finest. Check it out. This is Denise and Mike. Goodbye. That's Can how you do it? <laughs>